So I now want to very quickly fly through a kind of recap of what we actually did together, both so we can you know, so nourish our own reflections and also to share with people who you know, were not uh, privileged to be a part of it. So first of all, who were we? Um, initially, we asked you for a lot of information and we were a mixed group in terms of demographics. We were primarily folks from international NGOs, even though many of us work in the field and work in fragile contexts. Um, we worked all, over half of participants uh, are based in and work in, um, in the Asia Pacific region. And you can see that there's a healthy mix of you know, management, team leader, and other roles uh, of people in the uh, course. Um, a third of you had never taken the course delivered mostly or fully online before. So this is very much about discovery for you, but it was also uh, for the remaining two thirds, you know, uh, something that was already familiar, even though the particular approach may, ha may not have been uh, the first time around. So here is um, a couple of things. One, what, first, what the course provided, and then what you, from your own strengths, were able to provide to each other, given that so much of what we did was grounded in peer learning and sharing. So first of all, we provided a structure with very strict, inflexible deadlines, um, a very, you know, uh, very uh, hopefully useful sequence to keep you on track, to give you clear goals and deadlines. But this structure was grounded in a vision uh, for remote partnering developed jointly through the remote partnership project that you can see expressed here. And that summarizes some of the hopes and aspirations, what we were aiming for um, in putting this uh, learning journey together. Now, some of you may be you know, familiar with the kind of e-learning where you have content to read, view, and download. You go through it alone. There may not be any discussion, and there's a quiz at the end, and that's how you get your certificate. This was not that kind of course at all. We use something quite different, grounded in peer learning, about learning together, recognizing what you know that no one else does, perhaps, about your local context, and recognizing the value of that experience and how we can co-create knowledge together especially when we're you know, tackling something that is new, that none of us really, there is no established expertise on remote partnering. This is just uh, new for all of us. It's part of the new world that we need. We are all figuring out how to operate in. And so we gave you resources to support your work. One of them, the remote partnering workbook will be available more broadly. And we're looking forward to your feedback and inputs on the usefulness of that workbook that many of you referred to as you were developing your remote partnering plans. We also asked uh, people, your practitioners who are engaged in remote partnering from all over the world to share their experiences with you and to encourage you to do the same. And this is what you did throughout the course, of course. We also try to provide tools such as what we call learning analytics to enable each of us to track um, your own progress you know, uh, on many different levels, on multiple dimensions to give you a sense of how are you doing and what are the areas where you need to focus or, or, or strengthen as you work through the course. And last but not least, of course, we had very strict certification requirements. We'd like, as you leave this course with a certificate, we'd like you to value that certificate and we would like your line manager, your partners, uh, potential is employers in the future to recognize that if you went through this course, you have come out with something that is valuable to you and uh, valuable to them. So you may be asking, how did we do? So what we've done is we've put some of the key indicators that we use together against the reference course, which we did develop and, and ran with the World Health Organization over two years ago. So you can see that, um, first of all, Many of you, we had groups from individual organizations and some groups had completion, one group had completion rate in which only a third of the participants actually finished and other organizations had up to 90% completion. And overall, the mean was more than two thirds, which is quite remarkable for an online course where five or 10% completion is considered respectable. 
our reference course um, is at 76%. So this is actually the only area where this cohort, this group, didn't quite perform as well as the reference course. In other areas, you actually wrote more. You actually made more significant changes when revising your work, using what you learned through the, through the four weeks. You achieved a higher peer review rating. You wrote more when you gave feedback to others in the course. And almost all of you met this key requirement of giving feedback to three of your colleagues. So this is why I'm especially pleased to share with you this announcement that all of you who have qualified and earned a certificate in this course are, are invited to join the level two certification, um, which uh, requires, of course, successful completion of this course, which was level one. And we know that many of you have already expressed interest in becoming a uh, level two certified remote, remote partnering practitioner. So next is what we provided with each other for each other and we kicked off the course with a remote coffee trial so um this we matched you randomly we we're complete strangers from most of us and we matched you randomly and we said just get in touch have a coffee with somebody and this turned out to be incredibly productive far more than even we expected it and th these are some so this is some of what you reported back to us about this experience second we saw an exceptionally high number 27 of you expressed interest in acting as team leaders for your organization and team leaders made a tangible difference supporting participants reporting back on how the challenges faced by participants and making sure that because they knew their organization's culture could come up with the best way to support each other a third key aspect of how we learn from each other was of course a scholar process where you developed a project you gave and received feedback to each other and then you use that to revise your own and that of course was the key the main focus um, for everyone in the course one pleasant surprise was to see that many of you submitted remote partnering challenges from the real world problems that you had not been able to solve on your own and here are three of the six uh, the remaining three did not ha have profile photos but we also want to recognize them we workshopped um, those challenges and many of you contributed to so helping supporting your colleagues in coming up with new ideas new ways of thinking new ways of approaching or maybe establish ways that are known to work well um, in these uh, challenge uh, workshops which were again about peers supporting each other Here's what you reported about your experience. Kicking off in the orientation week with a very positive attitude, um, you know, including from people who were deployed in fragile contexts or working in fragile contexts. And we're keenly aware of the challenges some of you face just to you know, stay connected uh, to the course and actually successfully complete it. Um, one particular challenge that was a recurring theme, of course, and this is true for all adult learners, um, you know, was really the challenge of carving out time for the course. Um, nevertheless, what we saw emerge very quickly is that many participants figured out organized their time, figured out strategies to progress in the course and to do it exceptionally well. When week three came, this was the week when we gave and received feedback and structured peer review using a set of criteria called the rubric. One participant described that week as opening my third eye for remote partnering. And almost all of you, recognize the power of peer review, looking at other people's projects and helping them improve, just as you've completed your own project and your peers are also looking, looking at your work and trying to help you as well. One of the amazing things that came up through the course is that many of you, um, some of you reported that you were already applying what you were learning. Typically, we call this the applicability problem in training usually very little, it's very difficult to transfer back what you get from a course into the workplace. And in this case, we actually had people reporting that they were figuring things out uh, while the course was still, was still uh, happening. And that was very um, heartening and hopefully very empowering for those of you who had that experience. Overall, um, many of you seem to experience the course as an eye opener. Um, finding it again useful and relevant to your work 
and you know described very clearly some very you know some, uh, candidly some of the changes that you were experiencing as you went through the uh, uh, through the course. 